Oh, and good morning. It is 8:24. Damn, be 21st of it. April. Okay, what day? It's a Wednesday. Friday, Wednesday, apparently. It's Thursday. Is it? Is it? It was moon night yesterday. What's moon night? Oh, shite night. I'll tell you what. One big slab. So that's it. We're done there. We can crack on with the bricklaying bit now. We're up to steel's height all the way around now. And good morning. It is a Thursday, half eight. Yep, half eight. On Thursday the 21st. Uh, we would have been here a bit earlier, but we forgot the Fairwoods receipt yesterday, so we went to Fairwoods today, dropped off the trench block, and we picked up some more brick because we just needed about 40 more to finish the job, typically. Um, I took a side stop, had a bit of a uh, fry up Thursday. Dad got himself uh, another stamp on his cheeky monkey loyalty card. <laughs> That's she. Thank you. So yeah, so the plan is today to get as much brickwork as we can do. Uh, it's only, for the most part, it's four pillars, so it shouldn't take... Three. Three. It's not four. One each end and an L. One. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see, it's three. Yeah. <coughs> three. So it's only really three pillars. Two at the end and one L shape. Thanks to our dad's... Uh, perspective thank you um but yeah and we've got um we've got some profiles set up so we can just get cracking it's uh, it's past eight o'clock so we can make some noise get get a mix on but yeah so we'll see you on the other side once we've got a mix on there we have it one big slab so that's it we're done there we can crack on with the brick lane bit now so, um, yeah, we're going to get a mix on and get cracking. Got the profiles up there, got the profile up there, profile there. So it's just string a line up and get it whacked up. So uh, after, um, I've just noticed we need to get, give that door a clean because ma they've got managed to splash underneath the plastic. So I'll get all that ripped off and give them a clean. I'll get out to clean while I get the mix in. So anyway, let's get cracking. Right, ten past nine, and we're ready to go. Rhino stands up, one there, one there. Alex is doing this pillar, I'm doing this pillar. We're going to leave this end, we're just going to concentrate on one side at a time. Uh, we flip the boards over onto the concrete, which are in the way, they're protecting the concrete. Alex is bringing the extra bricks that we've just got from Fairwoods. Mix is ready, lines up. Just a quick one, I've checked the gauge on this side and it's 2100 bang on to lintel height. This side it's 2110. So when we get a bit, maybe 10, 15 courses up, we'll get the laser out and double check and transfer the level across from one corner to the other. And same again onto the trip. When we move the profile up next time, we'll put the, we'll put a felt tip mark from, we'll pick the, the right end and we'll transfer the levels round to follow. And as I say, we've got to get these steels order for over these doors. <clears throat> and that's going to hurt because that, that's gone up since we priced them. Um, yeah, so we're ready to go. Back in the tool belt, it's been a while. And Rodian's 11 inch Philly Duracort handle. Bloody lovely power that. And then Alex is on the uh, again Rodian's 10 inch London 
with the uh, leather handle. He wasn't sure about this at first, but now he's had a go on it, he's made up with it. I actually like it, yeah. yeah. I uh, take everything, I, everything I said, I take back about the other ones. Yeah. And then you've got the old retired ones with the rubbish end that keeps falling out. Here's the old one. Yeah, so out with the blue and in with the red. So yeah, let's get cracking. Is that, is that I'll, uh, I'll put the thing up at break time as well. The, uh, you know, the what's it called? The videos. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See they're uploading. Oh, I just need a timber spot board there, Al, please. Timber spot board? Here on this corner. Otherwise that board's going to crack. Hang on. That's it. It's right on the edge. That's better. We're Those with the motor there. Keep everyone happy in the comments. in the holes at the same time. Yeah, should we shove some down there. Plenty of ties at the bottom for our insulation to sit on. Yeah, we've we've not backfilled this yet because we've got all the cuts from the halves and the pieces, all the bits of brick and stuff. So they're going down there because um, we haven't got a skip so we're getting all the hardcore down there I'll have enough stones up after <clears throat> I've just noticed a brick on the pipe let's get rid of that yeah, that's not advisable is it? have a brick on top of the pipe right, let's get these bricks down just double check your line mate before we crack on It's in the right place. It's the outside line. Make sure you're dead on line with the top of the brick. 
hat and it is Hey, yeah. Just follow your, your jam. This door has been pulled straight out and move forward. Two nine thirty. And by first that door's going out there. And these openings are going to have pipe holes in them. But look. Right, it needs to be 10mm bigger. Bigger? Yeah. Not 10mm, I'll, I'll, I'll pinch 5mm as well. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll just follow in the uh, bond underneath as well. Massive joints though. Yeah, you can take five mil back as well, you know. They can, there's room to there's a wiggle room because you've got trims either side of that. Guys,
Hello. Can we on? Wait, what's the time? Quarter to twelve. Yeah. Right. So we're up to we've got eleven on after our late start. Now what happens now is we've got to stop because this pillar at this end has got a radiator hung on it, which is in there. And then these dwarf walls now step back. So there's extra glass either side of that, that French door. You can see that's a lot narrower that one than that one. So he's having a little glass panel each side of that on top of here. Now we don't know the sizes until we speak to the customer, but it, I mean it's going to be made to work bricks. It's going to either be 450 or 325, so either a brick and a half or two bricks. I can't see any bigger being bigger than that because we need decent sized pillars to get the steel over the top. Interesting fact, that's a massive opening. And when you look in that hole there, it's got a, an IG lintel over it. An actual off-the-shelf lintel. Stupid money for steel at the moment. So yeah, that, at the moment, Alex is setting himself up on that pillar to get that up, to level that up, while I jump inside and get block work up on the inside pillar. And by that time, customers should be back and we can have a chat with him, and then we can drop back on the outside and get this up to the top of that profile at least. Once we're up to the profile comes off, up another, and that'll get us to the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still easy as a profile in that corner, believe me. Yeah, and tired, yeah. You edit out my pain of them bloody buttons popping out. Edit out your moaning, yeah. <laughs> Boop. There's <laughs> your transition. Right, come here then. Yeah. Oh. See you in a bit. <laughs> and we're back. You gotta, you gotta talk to the camera. What a day. What a day. Alex is on this pillar. This is the only pillar that doesn't work brick. Everything else works brick. Those pillars are going to reduce now. I've just been off into the field with me still saw. Cut all the pieces for this corner. So they're all cut. And Alex is cracking on with that. So I'm going to change the angle of it and uh, get you out of the sun. How's it going, Dad? Good. Not bad, 
Atkinson there's no like big long walls to go up. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, we're making some good progress. Dad's put a nice bit of uh, internal work on this this corner, so it's nice and backed up. I've been uh, I've been on this side with the funny three quarter cuts. Yeah. So and I've just decided we'll stay on this side now instead of going back over there. Since I'm set up here, I may as well just up there. So. So as Dad told you before lunch, we had to uh, look at the windows, get them sorted out. And just as we uh, we swapped ourselves around, the customer came back, so we managed to get that sorted. And there you go. Don't even... One second, let me just... There we go. And you can see that's where the window's going to go. And that's it. So that, that had a bit of a dilemma. He thought he cut too many uh, pieces, but they're still working, so... He's done. So thank goodness for that. <laughs> Using a sponge. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna keep cracking on. Like Dad said, hopefully get to the top of this uh, profile. That's the goal, and just drop a knock with this mortar. So. That's 19 goals. Isn't it? 19. Plenty. Yeah. No, no point stretching. Get the rest off the trestles. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll get you set back up and uh, see you in a sec. And there you go, top of the profile. But uh, yeah, we made some good progress today, I think. We're not done yet, but we'll see how. Oh, I'm falling on the ladder. But yeah, um, we're not done yet. We've still got some mortar to use up, but we've still made some good progress, I think. We're 19 courses up on these two pillars. So we're just debating whether to use the rest of this mortar up on this pillar or some more block work. We'll figure that out in a second, but it's been nice to be back on the trowel again properly. It's been, it's like, I keep thinking it's been easier since we've done brickwork since like Leamington, but doing this kind of brickwork, it's been even longer, all the way back to like October. So it's been a long time, but uh, yeah, it's, oh, it feels nice to be back on. And there we have it. Just didn't have enough mortar to get it leveled up. But it's uh, that brick's on the same course as the rest of them pillars, so that's over had a pretty good day. Considering it was a uh, bit of a late start in the morning, but I still think we've done pretty well. Got a uh, nice 19 courses up. Got a got an internal corner set out, and uh, got all the bricks look. Got more bricks loaded up for tomorrow. So I'm gonna get tidied up now, but you don't need to see that. So we'll just uh, we'll just see you tomorrow. And here we are, 
it's the Friday, not good Friday anymore, just a regular one. Um, today is just gonna be, just get it up to, get, get as much as we can done. We're gonna get, definitely get up to Lintelite, and I think Dad needs to get them steels ordered. So let's see what time is it now. Half seven, yeah, so JM should be open now, so. Once we're set up, Dad's gonna get them rung up so we can get them steels ordered. We've got the scaffold and the trestles packed up in the back, so we'll get them out when we need. And yeah, we're just gonna crack on today, get as much as we can done. I've already said that, haven't I? Oh well, emphasize it. it, means we're really gonna do it. So, we'll see you over there. Dad is kitting up with his new boots. What's your verdict of them? Nice. They're not what you wanted, but are they all right? Yeah. That's good. Can't beat coffers. Super creepy. Oh, meanwhile, these other coffers are taking up my uh, my leg space. And this is usually a rare sight to see in this van. Both sets. So, the reason the reason we got all these is because we the plan is, I believe, we're gonna get the the scaffold put up on like one of the pillars uh, as we're doing them, and then the trestles we're gonna put two in one corner over there and one the, and the two in the other and try and make an L shape. I think that's the plan at least. Just so we've got more maximum efficiency for getting these, getting ourselves lifted up so we're not fiffing around too much. I'm gonna get this done as quick as we can. All right, let's get these GoPro batteries charging. Look at that, two greens. Don't have to even see that. Uh, power's plugged in, radio, most important. Sorry. We're going to start off with some block work. Um, yeah, there, haven't we? Yeah, because we're practically at height, aren't we? Yeah. We just need uh, one and a half bricks to go on there. Yeah, we need some blocks that come on there. So. Yeah. My first job's getting some blocks in. So, see you in a minute. Right, and mix is ready, blocks are ready. So, just going to get a string line up and get these knocked in.
half nine on a happy Friday. I don't think this battery's gonna last long. So make it quick. There you go. Alex has got his up. What's it up eight? Yeah. Eight, yeah. Yeah, so there's eight, so there's one more to um Get a little height. Yes, that's what I was gonna try and say. That was done yesterday. Mine's done, so the pillars already. They just need to cut at each side, 150 cut just to bring that up to the level. There's a rad going on there, that's like that pillar's bigger than that pillar. Um yeah, so um we're gonna have a quick break and then we're gonna set the trestles up on the outside. Yes, on the outside, not over on this job. Um yeah, um the steels we can't get for two weeks. So it's get it up to level and then mothball it. Go and find something else to do for a few days. Hopefully we can try and push it forward and we'll just have to pick them up in the van. It's not a long way. We'll just have it'll be sticking out a meter at the back. So yeah, we'll head for break now and head for break now and we'll get the trestles done after break. Here we have it, as you were listening in the time lapse. Trestles are up, loaded, ready to go. So everything's loaded up to up to uh, steel height now. Uh, Alex is ready, gonna get the line across. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Laser level set up, we're gonna get the lintel level at that end and transfer it onto the profile and transfer it onto that side of the house. That end, with a felt tip pen, so we can't lose the bloody marks. I've got a felt tip in my box that Alex gave us at A&E. I still got it, Alex. Hey. Talk to each other, Alex at A&E. Oh. We've still got his, his felt tip. If you have a look in the profile bucket, there's a little thin felt tip. Oh my God. Yeah? Wasn't level at TPC, but he is now. It's bang on, corner to corner. Get in. Boom. So you can see, you just about see a little arrow, and we've, we've also got that marked out on our profile there. Let's see if I can get you a better look at it. Just the little uh, little felt tip line, and obviously. So that's where we that's well, it's all we can work up to until uh, we manage to get them steals, but
and there is Lintel Height on these two sides. Happy days. You can probably hear the grind uh, in the back. It's still, still sore. You can probably hear the still sore in the back. Dad's getting some uh, splits cut for here. Because as you can see, it works four bricks, so a block and a brick sized piece. Dad's gonna get them cut now. And we're gonna get the blocks done here, jump on that side, and get that side done. And then I think that is all we can do for the time being. I may be wrong, <laughs> Dad, I'm sure Dad will correct me, but that's the, uh, that's the plan we've got. Let me just get you out of this wind. Um, but yeah, very satisfying to see the lintel height. And obviously, when we do get back eventually, we're going to get five more courses on top of it. Ooh, welcome back. It's actually about half past two. Not filmed for a while, but um, we're getting on. Alex is um, going around getting that last cup for the last um, coursing piece in and the top block ready for the steel. That's the, you always put the uh, full block on the top to accept the steel. Um, same there, he's going to do that corner for me. He's doing it off the hop up from the inside. I'm currently finishing this end. I'm going to take the block work up while I'm at it. That's it then, it's ready for steel. Which at this present time we don't know when it's coming. Could be next week, could be the week after, but um, I've explained to customer and he's fine with that. He's not bothered as long as it comes. So um, we're going to make sure we leave everything tidy today. Take away a lot of the stuff we don't need, probably take that stuff with us. Leave the trestles and planks, maybe even set them up along this side. Um, yeah, we're getting there. So that's the height. That's the height. Steel's on there and then we've got a five course band around the top. The reason there's five courses is to get over the um, the roller shutters that are on the house. There and there. So that'll take the roof just above them because the roller shutters are staying inside for security. We're having bifolds on the outside. No, doors are getting moved inside to the outside and there's going to be bifolds on the inside so they can op open up the inside. So that's a quick recap. I'll put you on time. That's why I just finished this last bit of a corner. And, um, and we'll have a good tidy up, ready to leave the job for a few days. Bit of sad really, I'd rather come back on Monday and just crack on and get it finished, but this is what it is. Steel's busy and the driver down, so we'll get there in the end. And we're back, probably about half past three now. So that's it. We're up to steel's height all the way around now. And as I said, I don't think we can get the steels for at least a week to ten days. But this is gonna be one beautiful extension when it's done. Alex's pillar there all done by himself. Good thing I suppose is it's gonna have a week for the motor to go off before we lift these steels on top. I've just finished that off now. Now it's finally past that bloody pillar so it's nice and straightforward now. A bit awkward down there. So you've got your doors coming to here with windows at the side. That door, make sure I'm pointing the right place. That door is going there. That's staying as it is, no other windows because that's quite a big door that. And then again, I've probably told us already, but we get the steels across and then we've got five course band to go around it to tie it all together. And then it's a lightweight roof on the top. And it's actually gonna have a box cutter across the back there. And then it's gonna have a apex at the front there. So that's gonna look really nice. Can't wait to see that. Yep, yeah, so there you go. Plan is now, get rid of that scaffold. We don't need that now. Good tidy up, drop the trestles and then set them back up again along the 
so I extend them along there. Um, thinking as I'm talking now we might need that to put the return on the trestles there. We're not doing this overhand, we're going to make sure it's all face, all done face work. We could do the block work overhand. It'll actually be one course of block over the steels because you've got the, the actual RSJ with a course of block on top. So I'm thinking of doing loads of cuts, I don't think I do need a load of cuts. So I'll leave the cuts for now. I've got just one cut to do for each one of these. Each window jam needs a 140 cut and just to level it up. Well, we don't need cuts at the across the top. The steels are going to be the cut. So where I've, just, where I've just drilled that hole again, I didn't need drilling because it's going to be a... The steel's going to be 150 and then it's going to be a course, full course over the top. Oh. But whatever happens, we'll get it right, we'll get it sorted. The profile's staying here, we don't need that, the other job. I think we're going to do a garb wall and um, repairing a, a skip damage wall in Wigan. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we'll play it by ear from there. Hopefully, they'll get the steel ready for us early. So I'll shut up now and um, we'll see you in a bit. Stick on town, that's how we get sorted. And there we have it, Friday half four, we've done as far as we can do, so big steel going in there, big steel going over there, and then five course wrap around the top. This side's all set up and loaded, and our trusty brick jackets to protect everything from the weather. So yeah, that's us, so we'll be back in a week or so. 